the male protagonist who crossed over to a different world before getting familiar with the environment suddenly burdened with a massive debt of 90,000 spirit stones. Now, Chongming's sect is completely unbearable. Pei Ling wanted to blend into a certain team and escape from the sect, but due to his low cultivation level, he was despised by everyone. He even caught the attention of a tank commander's sister and almost lost his innocence. Just when Pei Ling was at a loss, the conversation next to him caught his attention because a team was looking for teammates, and they only wanted newcomers at the Foundation Establishment Realm, Levels 3 and 4. Upon hearing Foundation Establishment Realm, Levels 3 and 4, Pei Ling immediately became spirited. Isn't this exactly what he was looking for? Taking a brisk step forward, he greeted, Hello, senior brother. I am Pei Ling, currently at the fourth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. Sure, but we're about to leave now. Do you need more time to prepare? No, let's go now. Pei Ling thought to himself, I don't want to bring this hellish sect with me even for a second. Little did he know that these were all calculations made by senior brother. Just when Dinosaur Girl was approaching Pei Ling, Sunny Nan found this senior brother, Chen. Pei Ling's talent is comparable to Pei Hongyan's, making him a suitable blood sacrifice for senior brother. Senior brother Chen hesitated for a moment. Isn't Pei Ling the one brought in by Xinjinshan? It wouldn't be wise to provoke him. Sunny Nan immediately explained, in Xinjinshan's eyes, Pei Ling is nothing more than a dog. If he truly values him, would he let him search for a team alone? Upon hearing this, senior brother Chen finally let go of his worries and looked at the cheerful Pei Ling with a sinister smile. Finally, he could refine his soul summoning banner. Then, Pei Ling and the others rushed towards the sect together. Sitting on the Ying Corpse Cloud, Pei Ling felt refreshed and clear-minded. This was much more comfortable than Pei Hongyan's lousy paper boat. Just then, senior brother Chen patted Pei Ling's shoulder. Pei junior brother, let me introduce our teammates to you. I'm Chen Huan, at the sixth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. This is my disappointing younger sister, Chen Mei, at the fourth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. These three are Huang Xian, Zhang Zhongqin, and Xiao Tasha all at the fifth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. Pei Ling quickly clasped his fist in salute. Nice to meet you all. I am Pei Ling, at the fourth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. Chen Huan then explained to Pei Ling, This mission is mainly to accompany my sister, who is at the fourth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm, for training. Pei Ling immediately showed his loyalty. Senior brother Chen, rest assured, I will definitely protect senior sister Chen. In fact, he had already made plans in his heart. This young master doesn't have the time to accompany your sister for training. Once we're out of the sect, I'll find an opportunity to escape. They say the sea is wide for fish to leap, and the sky is high for birds to fly. But why does this scene feel familiar? Pei Ling looked at the distant scenery, casually asking, Senior brother, besides the sect, what other use does this token have? The answer he received was, Once outside the holy sect, this token is the only thing that can prove your identity. It can also be used to seek help from the sect and for positioning in times of danger. Pei Ling was greatly shocked. This useless token actually has a positioning function? I'll have to throw it away when I run away. Pei Ling scratched his head, then asked, if someone owes spirit stones, and decides to discard the token and flee from the holy sect, wouldn't the holy sect suffer losses? Xiao's senior sister smiled and explained, impossible, there was a disciple before who owed 100 spirit stones, he immediately took on a mission and escaped, guess what happened? Pei Ling asked cautiously, trembling, what happened? The holy sect directly sent three cultivators who were one realm higher to chase him for a full 20 years, in the end, they slaughtered his entire family that he had established. Pei Ling was scared out of his wits on the spot, chased for a mere 100 spirit stones for 20 years. How can he escape with his 90,000? Originally, he planned to run away, but it seems it won't work. He can only settle down and work to repay the debt. Their mission this time is to hunt down a 6th level awakened beast, with strength equivalent to a cultivator at the Foundation Establishment Realm, 6th level. And Pei Ling's task is to protect Chen Mei. Pei Ling asked eagerly, Senior brother, how many spirit stones can we get from this set? Chen Huan replied, If you perform well, you can get 20 pieces. Pei Ling was speechless in an instant. 20 pieces? But I owe 90,000 spirit stones. Seeing Pei Ling's expression, Chen Huan thought he was shocked by the quantity of 20 pieces. After all, for newly initiated disciples, 20 pieces is not a small amount. He felt a sense of disdain in his heart. Chen Mei added, Although 20 spirit stones are not few, if you have talent in forging tools, alchemy, 
and talisman making, you can earn even more spirit stones. Your fellow disciple, Pei Hongyin, had exceptional talent. He was almost taken as a direct disciple by instructor Fu Feng. Unfortunately, Sun Inan interfered. Upon hearing this, Pei Ling was pleasantly surprised and quickly asked how Pei Hongyin caught the attention. It turned out that Pei Hongyin had an innate talent for talismans. He drew his first talisman within two years. Upon hearing that it takes two years for innate talent to manifest and the deadline for paying the fine is three months, Pei Ling felt his hopes dwindling. Just then, Zhang Zhongqin, who hadn't spoken all this while, suddenly proposed a sparring session with Pei Ling. Pei Ling also wanted to test the strength of this team, so after apologizing, he squared his shoulders and threw a punch at Zhang Zhongqin. Seeing that his punch was straightforward and not fancy at all, Zhang Zhongqin smiled faintly, stood his ground without avoiding or retreating, and took the blow head on. But in the next second, a tremendous force struck, almost causing he to embarrass himself. He had to quickly step back and dissipate the remaining force. Realizing that Pei Ling wasn't someone to be trifled with, the man no longer held back and attacked Pei Ling with full force. Unable to evade, Pei Ling could only withstand it. After a few punches, Pei Ling gradually fell into a disadvantageous position, finally feeling the strength of someone at the fifth level of the Foundation Establishment Realm. Just then, Chen Huan timely intervened to mediate the situation, saying, that's enough for now. Pei Ling quickly bowed and expressed his gratitude, thanking Zhang Zhongqin for his guidance. After some small talk between the two, Huan Xian suddenly asked, Pei Junior brother, you were clearly carrying a knife. Why didn't you use it just now? Pei Ling smiled and explained, it was just a friendly sparring session. Zhang Junior brother didn't use any weapon either, so naturally, I couldn't either. But in his heart, he thought, don't reveal your cards. I don't want to draw attention to the life-loathing blade again. With the sparring session coming to an end, everyone resumed their quiet journey. Chen Huan was secretly delighted as he watched Pei Ling, who appeared defenseless. He thought, this kid's physical body is so strong, he happens to be the last one I need to refine the soul banner. Suppressing his excitement, he made a low promise, saying, maybe we can enter the inner sect based on this. Ta Sha, in return, said, when the time comes, I will gladly assist Chen Senior Brother to the best of my abilities. Meanwhile, Pei Ling, who was kept in the dark, suddenly noticed that everyone seemed unusually happy. Just as he was puzzled, Chen Mei asked with a worried expression, Pei Junior Brother, you didn't get injured just now, right? Here, take a few Qi blood pills. Pei Ling was overjoyed at the opportunity to get something for free, thinking, how can I refuse something I can mooch off? Now the whole team was happy. After a few days of traveling, Pei Ling and the others finally arrived at the destination of their journey, the Screw Mountain City. Due to the busy affairs of the city lord, they were received by the steward of the city lord's mansion. Upon entering the mansion, Pei Ling felt an unusually rich spiritual aura in this place. Chen Mei chuckled and explained, the city lord of this city is a formation cultivator and has set up a simple gathering formation in the city lord's mansion. Chen Huan quickly added, the city lord is a senior in the foundation realm. When you meet him later, you must not be disrespectful. Pei Ling repeatedly nodded and acknowledged, Nephew Chen, it has been a long time since we last met. The person who arrived was none other than Duan Mayan, the city lord of Screw Mountain City. He appeared to be in his forties, dignified in appearance, with a short beard on his chin. In his eyes, there was a shining brilliance, giving off an aura of shrewdness and competence. Everyone quickly stood up and paid their respects. After some pleasantries, Chen Huan explained the two tasks of this journey to Duan Mayan. The first was the flower demon outside the city, and the second was the purple-eyed ferret in Screw Mountain. Unexpectedly, the city lord's expression changed. Nephew, you must have come prepared. Dealing with the flower demon outside the city and the purple-eyed ferret in Screw Mountain shouldn't be a problem. However, recently, a foundation realm human-faced spider has emerged from the depths of Screw Mountain to lay eggs, and it happens to be near the territory of the purple-eyed ferret. Pei Ling and Chen Huan were instantly stunned, but they had different concerns. Chen Huan was worried about his blood sacrifice being delayed, while Pei Ling was concerned that his reward of 20 spirit stones would go down the drain. Seeing Chen Huan and the others hesitating, Duan Mayan thought for a moment and said, however, there's still a chance for you to complete this task. I have already investigated the activity range of this demonic beast. If you are careful and avoid it, you should be able to complete the mission. Chen Huan immediately breathed a sigh of relief and took the beast's trail map, thinking, as long as we avoid the human-faced spider, the blood sacrifice won't be a problem. This time, I must obtain the soul banner. Time quickly passed, and it was late at night. 
Pei Ling, back in his guest room, secretly calculated that it would be impossible to accumulate the 90,000 spirit stones solely through missions. He wondered if he should sell the life-loathing blade. Just then, a chilling aura slowly seeped into the room. Pei Ling sensed something was wrong and immediately pushed open the door, only to find the courtyard filled with a suffocating smell of corpses, accompanied by eerie echoes. Pei Ling realized the situation was dire and quickly called for his senior brothers. The next moment, a zombie rushed towards Pei Ling. He hastily used his knife to defend himself, his heart filled with astonishment. What was happening? How could the guest courtyard of the city lord's residence become so eerie? Before Pei Ling could react, another zombie attacked him from behind, biting at him. In an instant, Pei Ling's thoughts raced. Could it be her? He urgently shouted. I have mastered the blood-devouring blade technique. Please show yourself, Miss Wu Lu. With the looming threat of the impending fine, Pei Ling had almost forgotten about the 10-day deadline set by Li Liu. As soon as he uttered those words, a faint hum came from the darkness outside the courtyard gate. The surrounding gloom instantly transformed into countless small swimming fishes, dispersing in all directions. At the same time, Pei Ling felt the temperature drop around him, and a soft, icy body pressed against his back. Two pale arms crossed over his shoulders and slowly wrapped around his neck. In a tender voice, she spoke, Child Pei, why did you come here? You made me chase after you all this way, such a hardship. After experiencing half a month of continuous dual cultivation last time, Pei Ling realized a harsh reality. Not everyone could enjoy a life of luxury. Pei Ling quickly explained that he was only going out on missions to earn spirit stones. Wu Lu excitedly said, Are you talking about the fine for killing Miao Chen and the others? Pei Ling was greatly shocked. Wow, you've been monitoring me, pretending to be indifferent. Miss Wu Lu truly possesses great supernatural powers. You even know about that. Wu Lu paused for a moment, then burst into laughter. So you used them to practice the external devil technique? No wonder you quickly mastered the blood devouring blade technique. But even so, the blood devouring blade technique is an exceptional skill. It can't be mastered in just 10 days. Suddenly, Wu Lu gripped Pei Ling's throat tightly and coldly demanded, So what secrets do you have? Pei Ling felt as if he had fallen into an ice cellar, unable to move a muscle. Wu Lu's fingertip traced across Pei Ling's chest, threatening to cut him open. Pei Ling's heart sank, feeling the impending doom. Were his life about to end here? Suddenly, several chains shot out from nowhere, tightly restraining Wu Lu. Her actions came to an abrupt halt, and her sweet and delicate face twisted. No, master. I was wrong. I won't touch him, she pleaded. Upon hearing Wu Lu's plea for mercy, the chains quickly disappeared. Wu Lu, now free, wore a fawning and flattering expression towards Pei Ling Child Pei. You better do something to provoke the master. That way, I can dispose of you at will, she suggested. Pei Ling was speechless. Even the ghosts in this underworld sect were abnormal. Wu Lu then went on to explain the dangers of practicing the external devil technique. Pei Ling paid little attention. After all, he had the system to help him cultivate. What mattered most now was how to acquire 90,000 spirit stones. With anticipation on his face, Pei Ling grabbed Wu Lu's hand. Miss Wu Lu, you must have a method to quickly earn spirit stones, right? It would be great if I could earn enough 90,000 spirit stones. Wu Lu looked at Pei Ling's greedy expression with a speechless look on her face. You want spirit stones? With child Pei's astonishing physique, you can just ask the master directly, or I'll figure it out myself. It's better not to rely on this cursed soft meal. Upon hearing Pei Ling's response, Wu Lu waved her hand dismissively. Then you figure it out on your own. She then threw a blood escape cultivation manual at Pei Ling this is given to you by the master. Master it within 7 days, or die. After Wu Lu left, Pei Ling let out a long sigh. Finally, she's gone. A mere ghost servant was so troublesome. Li Lai you must be terrifying. It seems I have to practice this technique. The next morning, Pei Ling was still worried about how to earn 90,000 spirit stones when he heard a knocking on the door. It turned out to be Chen Mei coming to find him. Junior brother Pei, my elder brother and the others need to prepare something before leaving the city. So today, we'll rest. Do you have any plans? Feeling the softness in his hand, Pei Ling blushed and replied with a smile, Senior sister, I've been traveling for days and feel tired. I plan to rest in the room. Upon hearing that Pei Ling planned to rest in the room, Chen Mei immediately went off happily to find her elder brother. Pei Ling scratched his head. Why is she so happy about me resting in the room? Chen Huan and the others are nowhere to be seen. Something feels off. Anyway, it's better to slip away to the market first and earn some spirit stones. Young sir, I see that you have a unique temperament. You're an extraordinary talent in cultivation. I have an ancestral cultivation technique here. Would you like to take a look? Pei Ling turned around without hesitation, feeling speechless. Seeing the old man becoming even more persistent, Pei Ling immediately took out his Chongming Sect token and said, 
can you take a look at this? The old man instantly became clever and realized it was the token of a Chongming sect disciple. Sorry for the disturbance. Pei Ling didn't expect that the token of this underworld sect would come in handy sometimes. Suddenly, Pei Ling's expression changed as he unexpectedly spotted Chen Mei and Zhang Zhongqin at the market. Little did he know that the rest of the group was setting up a formation for Pei Ling in the wilderness, led by the formation master Xiao Tasha. After searching, they finally found a place with abundant energy, perfect for setting up the Soul Devourer Maternal Array subformation. However, they suddenly realized they didn't have enough talismans for the formation. While discussing how to handle the situation, Chen Mei stepped forward and said, Why don't Zhang Xixiang and I go back to buy more talisman paper? You can continue setting up the formation here. Huang Xian looked puzzled and asked, Why are you here too? Weren't you supposed to keep an eye on Pei Ling? Chen Mei looked proud and replied, don't worry, I applied a thousand mile fragrance on Pei Ling. He won't be able to escape the tracking of the tracking bees. Now back to the present, hiding in the shadows, Pei Ling overheard their discussion about purchasing materials for the formation. He couldn't help but feel confused. Setting up a formation? Is it really necessary to go through all this trouble just to deal with a sixth level foundation establishment realm purple eyed ferret? At this critical moment, a swindler from the martial world suddenly appeared. Young sir, you have a keen eye. This is a treasure that can conceal the leakage of spiritual energy. I can sell it to you cheap if you want. Startled, Pei Ling grabbed the cloth and ran without turning back. Pei Ling casually threw a bottle of elixir to the old man to offset the debt. This ridiculous move also caught Zhang Zhongqin's attention. I think I just saw Pei Ling a moment ago. Release your tracking bees quickly, he said. Chen Mei didn't hesitate and immediately released the tracking bees to track him. Pei Ling, who had run into a dark alley, thought to himself, I did say I was resting at home. If I'm seen here, it'll be hard to explain. Just as he was about to continue escaping, a questioning voice came from behind. Pei Ling, it's really you. Didn't you say you were resting at home? Pei Ling quickly waved his hand, trying to explain that it was all a misunderstanding. However, Zhang Zhongqin didn't care about Pei Ling's explanation and stepped forward, grabbing his shoulder. Misunderstanding? Then tell me. Why did you run when you saw me earlier? Could it be that you overheard something you shouldn't have? Pei Ling could only awkwardly explain that he couldn't sleep and decided to go out for a walk, thinking that they might be resting and didn't want to disturb them. Zhang Zhongqin immediately communicated with Chen Mei. This kid is acting suspiciously. Maybe he really overheard something. We can't let him go. However, Chen Mei interjected. No, we can't. The Soul Devourer Maternal Array will be activated tomorrow. We should bring him back and closely monitor him. With that, she tightly held Pei Ling's arm and with a seductive look, slowly said, You're too reckless. In this unfamiliar place, what if something happens? Pei Ling sighed at how quickly this woman changed her attitude. Zhang Zhongqin also agreed, Chen Mei is right. We're a team, and we should inform each other and provide support wherever we go. Pei Ling could only apologize awkwardly, and Chen Mei, with a coquettish expression, warned him, If you continue like this, I won't pay attention to you next time. Soon after, the two of them escorted Pei Ling, one on each side, back. Pei Ling looked puzzled and asked, Weren't you supposed to buy materials for the array? Why are you taking me back instead? Zhang Zhongqin smirked and replied, Chen Huan and the others will handle the materials. Right now, it's more important to bring you back. As night fell, Pei Ling lay on the bed, feeling increasingly uneasy. Buying the materials for the array should be the priority, yet they were in a hurry to bring him back. Moreover, their behavior on the way back was unusually warm. With these thoughts in mind, Pei Ling developed a dreadful suspicion. Could it be that their true intention is me? Just then, the noise outside awakened Pei Ling. It turned out that Chen Huan and the others, who had gone out to set up the array, had returned. Pei Ling wanted to eavesdrop on their conversation, but Chen Huan noticed him immediately. Pei Ling, get some rest, he said and then asked. What happened? Pei Ling seemed to be on alert, and Zhang Zhongqin revealed the incident of Pei Ling sneaking out during the day. Chen Huan smiled confidently and said, No problem, tonight. We'll take turns keeping an eye on him and not give him a chance to escape. Tomorrow, when we lead him into Xiao Tasha's illusion array, it will be a great success. I know Xiao Tasha's illusion array very well. I spent three days unable to escape from it. When the time comes, as long as we lure this kid into the array, even if he has great abilities, he won't be able to escape. The next morning, Chen Huan brought Pei Ling to a deep forest in Screw Mountain. Seeing himself surrounded by everyone, Pei Ling concluded that he was their target for this trip, but he couldn't understand why. With a bitter smile, he asked, Chen Huan, are we looking for a flower demon? Chen Huan responded indifferently, just follow along. Chen Mei pretended to comfort Pei Ling and said, Pei Ling, don't be anxious, we're almost there. Pei Ling secretly calculated the strength of both sides and realized that he had no chance of winning. Just then, a roar echoed, followed by numerous demonic beasts attacking from all directions. 
the group immediately entered combat mode. Pei Ling was overjoyed, thinking that this was his chance. However, before he could take a few steps, a beast's head flew past him. Pei Ling turned to look and found that the battle had already ended. Chin Huan stared at Pei Ling with a grim expression and slowly spoke. Pei Ling, you went the wrong way. Pei Ling could only awkwardly explain. It was my first encounter with demonic beasts, and I panicked. I ran in the wrong direction. Inwardly, he couldn't help but criticize how pathetic those beasts were. Chin Mei, seeing that Pei Ling wasn't being honest, directly hugged his arm and said, This won't do. What if we encounter more demonic beasts and get separated? I have to hold on to you tightly from now on. Pei Ling sighed, realizing that the nearby demonic beasts were too weak, leaving no chance for escape. The ghostly woman could save him, but she probably wished for him to die sooner. Just then, Chin Huan and the others suddenly stopped in their tracks and communicated through telepathy. The subarray of the Soul Devourer Maternal Ray is just ahead. You lure Pei Ling in, and Xiao Tasha and I will set up the main formation, they said before leaving directly. Pei Ling felt delighted upon seeing this. The two with the highest cultivation were not present, which was a perfect opportunity for him. He casually asked, What are Xiao Tasha and Chin Huan doing? Chin Mei casually said, They're getting ready to deal with the purple-eyed ferret. Let's keep moving forward. After walking for another 15 minutes, Pei Ling suddenly muttered, They should be far away by now. Before Chin Mei could react, Pei Ling suddenly attacked, grabbing Chin Mei by the neck and forcefully throwing her to the ground. Stop acting in front of me, Pei Ling said. This sudden turn of events shocked Huang Xian and Zhang Zhongqin, who were walking ahead. Pei Ling, what do you think you're doing? You little beast. Pei Ling immediately took out the life loathing blade. What do I think I'm doing? You know it well, he replied, launching a blade light attack that caught them off guard, causing their weapons to shatter. Witnessing the tremendous power of the attack, Huang Xian and Zhang Zhongqin were astonished. That's the life loathing blade. Are you one of Jin Jinchan's people? Pei Ling ignored their questioning and charged at them with his blade. Realizing the danger, Huang Xian and Zhang Zhongqin communicated through telepathy, saying, don't hesitate. Lead him into the subarray. Zhang Zhongqin quickly manipulated his fingers, and countless rock walls instantly rose from the ground. Pei Ling's life-loathing blade was extremely sharp, shattering the rock walls in an instant. When the dust settled, there was no one in front of Pei Ling. Suddenly, Huang Xian emerged from behind, holding a talisman in his hand. Pei Ling swiftly turned around and swung his blade, forcing Huang Xian to retreat. However, the talisman was successfully activated. In an instant, Golden chains appeared around Pei Ling, tightly binding him before he could react. Just as Pei Ling was immobilized, Zhang Zhongqin reappeared and used his fists to forcefully knock Pei Ling away, causing him to fall into a nearby dense forest. When Pei Ling stood up, he couldn't help but sigh, realizing that dealing with two cultivators at the fifth layer of the Foundation Establishment Realm was a bit challenging. However, he found it strange that the two didn't pursue him. Regardless, he decided that it was best to keep moving. However, after walking for a while, Pei Ling suddenly discovered that he had returned to the starting point. In front of him was a strange compass. Pei Ling looked at the sinister runes before him and felt even more convinced that it was not suitable to stay there for long. Taking a deep breath, he sprinted in a direction, but no matter which way he ran, he would always end up back in the same place. Oh no, I can't get out of this cursed place, Pei Ling lamented as he slumped on the ground. Suddenly, a bright idea flashed in his mind. System. I want to cultivate the vampire vanishing technique. The intelligent cultivation system promptly responded, the host will lose control of their body during the cultivation period. Please do not panic. Immediately, blood-colored ripples appeared beneath Pei Ling's feet as he began practicing the vampire vanishing technique. The system detected that continued cultivation of the vampire vanishing technique required blood nourishment and offered to provide several high-grade bloodstones free of charge. Pei Ling was secretly delighted. Just as I expected, there's nothing in this cursed place. If I want bloodstones, I'll have to find my way out. However, to his surprise, the system directly led Pei Ling towards a large mountain. Pei Ling was shocked and exclaimed, Big brother, I asked you to help me find the way, not to lead me to my death. Unexpectedly, the anticipated collision did not occur. Pei Ling directly passed through the mountain wall. It turned out to be an illusionary technique. Pei Ling was overjoyed. I finally escaped. System, I commend you for this. I'll give you a 4 star rating this time. At the same time, Chen Huan and Xiao Tasha successfully set up the maternal ray. Upon returning to the original location, they found everyone covered in injuries. Huang Xian wore a grim expression. We've been tricked by that kid. I didn't expect Jin Jinshan to give him the life loathing blade. Life loathing blade? It seems that Pei Ling has a close relationship with Jin Jinshan. Zhang Zhongqin couldn't hide his worries and suggested, Jin Senior, it's not wise to provoke Jin Jinshan. What do you think? However, Chen Huan remained calm and composed, rest assured. 
The dead won't speak. He's trapped in the illusionary array, and there's no way he'll come out alive. In another half an hour, the maternal town will be completed. Today, I will definitely master the soul summoning banner. The scene shifted, and Pei Ling was controlled by the system as he arrived in a gloomy cave. Looking at the dense spider eggs in front of him, Pei Ling was speechless. Is it just a coincidence? Could this be the lair of the human-faced spiders? But the system didn't care and took action, cutting spider eggs directly with a knife and gathering a fit blood aura towards Pei Ling. His figure moved swiftly and agilely within the cave, even faster than before. Then, his body transformed into a thin layer of blood-colored clothing. The vampire vanishing technique was successfully cultivated. At the same time, the system prompted, this cultivation session is complete. Thank you for using the intelligent cultivation system. If satisfied, please give a 5-star rating. Just as Pei Ling was immersed in the joy of mastering the evasion technique, a loud rumbling sound came from behind. A giant spider with glowing red eyes stared at him. The human-faced spider became furious and let out a piercing scream. Fortunately, Pei Ling had just mastered the vampire vanishing technique, which barely allowed him to dodge the attack. It was fortunate that the vampire vanishing technique came from Li Lai Yu and, after being trained by the system, Pei Ling was able to fully activate it, instantly creating distance between him and the human-faced spider. Despite the spider's furious charge and relentless web spitting, it could only seethe with impotent rage, watching Pei Ling's figure turn into a small dot in the distance. However, the human-faced spider continued to chase after him even though Pei Ling had already escaped the cave. Finally, Pei Ling had an idea. While he was running headlong into the canyon, several miles away in a specially cleared area, complex array patterns were drawn with cinnabar and blood, and in the center stood a soul-summoning banner. The banner bore the struggling souls of a dozen individuals, their faces contorted in anguish. Chen Huan's face displayed a smug smile. The soul devourer maternal array is complete. Xiao Tasha, begin. With Xiao Tasha's command, the soul devourer maternal array was officially activated. Instantly, thunder roared and a sinister aura enveloped the area. Just as Chen Huan was imagining the completion of his soul summoning banner, the array suddenly stopped functioning. Xiao Tasha panicked. There are no offerings in the subarray. Pei Ling has escaped. The group, already harboring sinister intentions, descended into chaos in an instant. Chen Huan hastily interrupted the argument among the group and decisively commanded, Chen Mei, quickly summon the tracking bees and go with Huang Xian and Zhang Zhongqin to chase after Pei Ling. Remember, bring him back alive. Seeing Chen Huan's displeased expression, the group dared not delay and followed closely behind the tracking bees. However, after only a short while, the behavior of the tracking bees became peculiar. It seemed like there was a terrifying presence ahead, causing it to hesitate and refuse to fly forward. Huang Xian's expression turned serious. There are no decent monsters in this area. Could it be the human-faced spider? Zhang Zhongqin countered, impossible. The human-faced spider is in the egg-laying period and wouldn't venture this far to protect its offspring. Just as they argued, a billowing cloud of dust rose not far ahead of them. It turned out to be Pei Ling sprinting towards them without stopping. The few individuals who were worried about not being able to find Pei Ling and report back were overjoyed when they saw him running towards them. However, to their astonishment, Pei Ling passed right through them and, as he left, said, thanks for taking care of me all this time. I hope you like this gift. The three individuals were shocked by Pei Ling's incredible speed and wondered what kind of evasive technique he had cultivated. But before they could pursue Pei Ling, a loud noise came from behind. It turned out the human-faced spider had caught up to the three of them. The three panicked and ran for their lives. The spider spat out a thread of silk, which entangled Chen Mei, the one with the lowest cultivation. She desperately cried for help. Senior brother, save me. Zhang Zhongqin wanted to intervene and save him, but Huang Xian stopped him directly, saying, let's go, we can't save her anymore. They watched helplessly as Chen Shu fell into the mouth of the human-faced spider. Pei Ling heard the distant screams and turned his head to glance back, saying, don't blame me, you brought this upon yourselves. The two fortunate ones who managed to escape found Chen Huan and, seeing their disheveled appearance, Chen Huan sensed that something was amiss. He asked, what happened? Where is my sister? Chen senior brother, that Pei Ling guy attracted the human-faced spider. We barely escaped by using the blood ignition technique. It's a pity for Chen junior's sister, they replied, shocking the two of them. Xiao Tasha anxiously said, Chen senior brother, we're no match for the human-faced spider. We should hurry and leave. However, Chen Huan turned to look at the woman and spoke firmly, we can escape, but what about the injured Huang junior brother and Zhang junior brother? He continued, at this point, we can only rely on the soul devourer maternal ray. You two go into the subarray and hide, and when Xiao Tasha and I lead the human-faced spider into the illusion formation, you come out. The two individuals showed concern on their faces and asked, 
Can the illusion formation trap a foundation establishment realm cultivator like the human-faced spider? Chen Huan's expression turned grave, and he said, After all these years of our friendship, do you think senior brother would harm you? Xiao Tasha wanted to say something, but Chen Huan stopped her. Although the two sensed that something was amiss, they didn't have a better solution at the moment and could only trust Chen Huan. As they watched the two gradually walk away, Chen Huan's expression changed. And he sneered as he said to Xiao Tasha, Once Huang Xian and Zhang Zhongqin enter the formation, we'll immediately activate the array and include them all in the Soul Devourer Maternal Array. 